Okay, so we're back at it again. So <clears throat> what we're going to work on today is adding uh, essentially enemy types like NPCs, um, monsters. I'm not going to focus on like uh, NPCs with weapons, uh, stuff like that. We're just going to focus on monsters. So uh, you can see here that basically I got my starting area, my little city um, built up pretty well here. So let's say we want to start adding enemy types. So you can see here, um, I've been testing around with these guys. And what you'll notice is if you want to get your enemies working right. So let's just say I go into the entity list here and I go to the NPCs. I go to monsters. And let's just say I take a human and drop them right here. So what you'll notice is if you go in the game, we'll see that it won't attack me. I can go up to him. He won't hurt me. I go up here. He won't hurt me. So what you want in order to get these guys to work is you have to create uh, a nav mesh. So that's essentially like pathing for the AI. So we'll exit the simulation. And what you're going to do is, since this uh, is going to be like a new, uh, like a new um, task essentially for the map, um, you don't want to put the nav mesh on the static or the primary. Uh, like I said earlier, if you want to start adding stuff to the map, um, for the nav mesh, you want it to be its own thing. You don't want it to go group with any static props, any other objects, any like thing like that. You want it to be isolated. So I'm just going to add a new layer that's for the nav mesh only. Uh, call it like just nav map. So you can see here, um, I'm going to set it to activate. So you can see the little square on it. It's the active uh, layer. So what you want to do is up on your top left toolbar, this navigation is where you start doing the nav mesh. So go up here and up on the top right when you're in the nav mesh toolbar. Um, you want to make sure that you have only face selected and you have this draw border selected. And so what that lets you uh, do is start creating the nav mesh. So like if you uh, hold control and you right click once to make a point and you right click another to make a point. Right click again and make some like this essentially this nav mesh box. Um, if you click one more time, it'll create like a square. And so this is your uh, nav mesh area. So the green is like the borders, the red is like essentially the pathing area for the uh, the AI. And so <clears throat> what you want to do is um, you want to add like essentially this line right here is a vertice. Uh, you want to add like a couple vertices in it so the AI has a little bit more pathing to it. So what you do with this is uh, select the vertex right here, take the face one off. You'll hold control again and just right click Oops, uh, like that. And you'll see I created a few more vertices uh, for them to start pathing and stuff like that. So when the player enters this area, um, the NPCs are going to start like moving and attacking and stuff like that. So we'll go in game here. You'll just recalculate everything. So you can see here, I'm outside the pathing. So they're not coming to me. You see, they still track me. They can't come out of it. See them blocking right there? So if I go in, they'll start attacking me. That's what you want. So that's how you set up your nav mesh for that. So we'll exit the simulation. And the thing that's interesting is uh, if you add these guys like I did before the nav mesh, if you add these guys in the map, um, you can still add them in. It won't crash or anything like that. They just won't function as far as like attacking and moving around without the nav mesh. The only NPC type that you can't add to the map, and it'll crash it every single time without having a nav mesh first uh, before you launch the game, is the demon. So if you go to the scene, um, 
I am going to create a new nav mesh area for the daemon. So I'm going to make sure I'm going to go back to navigation. I don't want to be in the scene. I'm going to click face again, deselect the vertex, make sure I'm on the draw border. All right, so you can see here I created a uh, little staging area again. Um, just going to add me a vertex. Whoops. Wrong one. Just going to add me a vertex again, like that. Uh, and what I'm going to do now is you don't want to add the daemon in the navigation layer we're in. So I'm going to go back to scene. I'm going to get off of the nav map. Activate the primary, so little boxes right there. And uh, you'll make your nav mesh bigger, but uh, for this case, we'll just, uh, it's a little simple area. So we'll go in here, uh, find the daemon, and we'll just drop them right there. So I'm going to move them up a little bit by right there. And what I'm going to do is go in game. Cool. So you can see here is uh, the nav mesh is kind of finicky sometimes when you don't make it like really big or you don't add enough vertices in it, uh, especially for like the demon. So what will happen is he'll fly like keep just keep on flying if you don't have the nav mesh set up correctly so you can see he's coming back to me right now and he's gonna attack me so that's what you want um if you don't set up the nav mesh correctly he'll just keep flying off in one direction uh and so yep that's how you get it to work for the demon exit the simulation so i'll just go back to the nav mesh and you can see here, it's what it looks like. It has all the vertices in it, little area. Yep. So that's pretty much how you do uh, enemy types, like the monsters, like these guys and these guys. Um, a little bit later, I'll go over like patrols and um, stuff like that for the, uh, the human uh, NPC types.